Ingalaba, this is the weekly highlight news of Radio and UG. I'm James. Here are the news highlights for this week. The acting president, His Excellency Duala Shula, and the Union Prime Minister Manwen Kaindan attend the high level panel and title Insights on the Achievements of the Myanmar Spring Revolution. The Myanmar permanent representative to the United Nations, Ambassador Ujo Motong, attends the opening session of the high level open debate on peace, building, and sustaining peace at the United Nations Security Council. IIMM says that they are timely to prosecute the perpetrators of the Rohingya clearance operations and other interesting news. These are the weekly news details. The high-level panel and title Insights on the Achievements of Myanmar Spring Revolution was said on 21st of August. At the meeting, the acting president of the National Unity Government his Excellency Duala Shila and the Union Prime Minister of the National Unity Government, Manwen Kaindan, the President of the Mola State, His Excellency Hosira Mosbota, Chairman of the Korean National Progressive Party and a leader of the K3C Ethnic Alliance, Kuure, launched the discussion. The panel included the distinguished guests such as the Senior Advisor of the Black Civil Society Center, Igora Visafis. Former Foreign Minister of Thailand, Mr. Kasit P. Rumia, Members of Parliament of New South Wales, Parliamentary Secretary for Disaster Recovery Australia, Mr. Janir Safin, and Senior Fellow of the Law Institute and Special Advisor to the Interim Central Bank of Myanmar, Dr. Sean Tone. The AT President and the Union Prime Minister emphasized that since the coup military junta is going to spread in the near future, the international community must officially recognize and assist their democratic partners. The team president also stressed to the international community that now is the time to stand with us on the right side of history. Union Prime Minister Manwen Kaindan stated that it is time for the international community to stand by the Myanmar people and put an end to the military dictatorship which benefits no one. Without a terrorist military, we hear claims that our country may disintegrate and collapse. Our destination is not a country that we break into space. The revolutionary forces are more united than ever. We are moving forward a federal democratic union that guarantees democracy, equality and full self-determination. The President of the Malashti, His Excellency Osiramos Hota, who delivered the opening remarks at the meeting, stated that the military junta is losing the war. It lost the political battle. It has lost everything, including respect and trust of the people and the international community. Revolutionary forces have their upper hand. They are winning both the battle and the war. Myanmar's permanent representative to the United Nations, Ambassador Ujo Moton, attended the opening sessions of the high-level open debate on peace building and sustaining peace, the new agenda for peace addressing global, regional and national aspect of the conflict prevention, which took place on 21st of August at the United Nations Security Council in New York. The ambassador highlighted that as a result of the military Honda's atrocities, the number of the displacement and refugees has reached 3.2 million and 18.6 million people are in need of the humanitarian assistance. Large number of the children and youth has lost their rights to education and health. Vulnerable groups, including women and girls, as well as Rohingya, have been facing numerous forms of violence by their hunter forces. Moreover, humanitarian operations remain challenging, where essential services cannot be delivered efficiently as being highly politicized and weaponized by the military hunter. The Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs and Disaster Management of the National Unity Government issued a statement on 22nd of August that the NUG government was able to provide 575 million chairs in humanitarian relief to the people in need of assistance in July. It was provided with the contribution of the revolutionary well-wishers people-to-people donations among the 575 million chairs to 462.8 million chairs for emergency food for 247,046 war refugees. 31.6 million chairs for emergency humanitarian aid for 162 heroes who died in the battles and 253 injured people. 0.9 million chairs as emergency humanitarian aid for Syrian employees. 1.9 million chairs as emergency humanitarian aid for political prisoners and their families. 
53 million shares for those affected by natural disaster. 24.7 million shares were provided as general humanitarian assistance. Furthermore, in July, the ministry was able to support 504,260 people in 534 villages from 31 townships for people fleeing the wall affected by floods in states and regions. The Myanmar Independent Investigation Mechanism IIMM, released a statement to commemorate the International Day of Remembrance for Victims of Earth Violence based on religion or belief. This statement was issued by Nikos Kujian, head of the Independent Investigative Mechanism for Myanmar. This week marks seven years since a widow of the violent atrocity by the Myanmar security forces drove hundreds of thousands of Rohingya women men and children to free their homes in Rakhine State, Myanmar. Rohingya lost their loved ones and property and many were subjected to horrific sexual violence. The majority sought refuge in Nepal and Bangladesh where they remain, still awaiting the day when it will be safe to return to their homes in Myanmar. No one has yet been held accountable for these horrific crimes. It was important for perpetrators in Myanmar to continue their abuse action without fear of the consequences. When crimes go unpunished, this can fuel more violence. This cycle of impunity must be broken. This year, armed conflicts have increased across Myanmar, including in Rakhine State, as oppositions to military rule grows. This has left Rohingya particularly vulnerable, with horrific proposal killings, torture, rape, and banning of the villages. International justice is often slow, and this can be very frustrating for victims who widely hope for justice that can bring an end to their suffering. At the mechanism, we understand they are frustrating and are making our best efforts to produce results. We have accelerated the amount of the evidence and analysis we are sharing with the authorities involved in the cases concerning the Rohingya at the International Crime Court, the International Court of Justice, and in Argentina. To date, we have shared 80 packages containing more than 1 million items of supporting information and analysis. Justice for Myanmar issued an official notification on 28 of August that the Singapore-based company Imagine Towns and City Singapore ETC is continuing to fund the Myanmar military as it is commits war crimes and crimes against humanity with total impunity. ETC latest financial disclosure for the 6 month to June 2024 shows the payment of the land lease premium of 900,000 Singapore dollar for Golden City, a real estate complex in Yangon, on land leased from the Myanmar military office of the Quartermaster General. Earlier financial reports showed the payment of the 1.68 million Singapore dollar in 2022 and 2.99 million Singapore dollar in 2023 bringing a total pay to Myanmar military to 5.57 Singapore dollar since its illegal coup attempt. ETC did not register any payments in 2021. Justice for Myanmar spokesperson Mayad Namao said it is unacceptable that ETC can continue operating in Singapore by finances and genocidal military that is the murdering children, bombing schools and clinics and displacing millions. Through this, continue funding to the Myanmar military EDC is complicit in ongoing war crimes and crimes against humanity, as EDC and Grand Ali are both registered in Singapore. Singapore remains exposed to Golden City business with Myanmar military, which helps fund its going war crimes and crimes against humanity. These are the weekly highlight news of Radio and UG. We will present more interesting weekly local news to you. Thanks for joining our news.